Hey everybody, uh, now 39 here, and today I am going to be doing, showing you a thing I built in Minecraft, my epic castle. And I'm using Camtasia, and you might have seen my new intro. I've changed my profile pic, I'm not sure if it shows up yet, but it's pretty cool, I think. And so yeah, I'm using Camtasia Studio, which is an awesome screen recorder. Cost $300, so I'm just using the free intro, the free trial, so. Yeah. Looks pretty cool, though. So yeah, here we are. Here, let me just toss this stuff away. Okay, so... Here, I'll just give you the outside view. Sorry, guys, I really wasn't prepared for this. I just thought, I'm like, oh, cool, gotta do a vid. Well, one thing I'll just show you real quick is I was experimenting with that minecart TNT thing. How you can, like, place, like, a ton on a track, and I didn't place that many, but... So here is my castle I've built. Put a lot of time and effort to it. It's really cool. And so I guess I'll just give you a little walkthrough of it. It's pretty cool. So here we have just kind of, like, my little signal light, my sign, I guess... Not my real sign, but I just got like some like a drawbridge. Pretty hard to make a real Minecraft drawbridge. And as you enter, you see we have some iron golems set up by the beginning, and we have a little map of my kingdom, kind of. <laughs> hasn't really it hasn't all loaded yet. So we just have these little lights over here. So I guess that's like open for trade, tax shop. I'm gonna be building a village soon. It's not complete. It's a work in progress, guys. I'll definitely be showing it to you when I'm done. And you guys have no idea how painstaking it was to place every block of this. So. I really hope you guys like it. And one thing I've added, it's just a little fence up. But I actually added a emergency kind of defense thing. So you guys will be see that in a minute. Here we have beacon room only o open only to King Knotwood. And I'm King Knotwood. And I've built myself a little beacon with everything. And I got regeneration and uh, resistance. Because, you know, the villagers will... Not, they're not going to be like, real villagers. I'm just going to build houses. And, yeah, so that might help them. Don't die. Castle mine. No, not all chartered. Enter at risk. This is a little natural mine that was in the middle of here. And I've just gone through it for about 10 or 20 minutes. And I've just placed torches everywhere. But there's a lot of it I still have. And it's a huge cave system. So here we have the blacksmith. And it's now open to the public. So we have little areas kind of from the village. And we have an anvil, which I've used a lot. Which you'll guys be seeing what I use that for. So this little area is my area. You... It's, the Knotwood 39, it's Knotwood's quarters, and it's also the fallback location. Like, let's say we were invaded, everybody falls back into here, so that's why we have some iron golems. You can just press that, this gate goes over, so you can't enter. It's very, I'm, it's very clumsy redstone. I'm not that, I'm not very good as you might, guys, you guys might know, so just bear with me. Okay, let me just keep that over there. Um, just if you get in here, you can do that. So, to keep people out, and you have iron golems. See, I'll show you that in a minute. What you can do up here is you can just jump up here, block that. There's nobody really over there, but nothing really to block you over there, but it's just there. So under here, we have our secret little treasury area. So in here, we have some just some riches. Because men actually do survival. This is just kind of my standard. You should see him. I'm like doing that like quotes with my finger standard armor because the other people don't know that I have way better stuff, which I'm still not totally not done with. I just did the little elevator trick, and so if you go down here, we have <laughs> the armor. Okay, so let me just grab this stuff. So first we have knots, flaming stuff. <laughs> Sounds like a mod review. Just something I added: fire aspect, sharpness, flame knockback. I didn't want to make it. This the certain things aren't too OP. This is a cool thing. I just I don't know. It's like a, it's supposed to be like a scythe called the end is near. It's kind of, so I'm gonna kind of just gonna like totally chop people. My not supposed to have knockback punch sharpness more for range. This is not sniper, which I'm meant to call longbow, but I guess I just wasn't thinking at the moment. And then we have not God Slayer, <laughs> which is OP. <laughs> That's the only weapon I made OP, but yeah, it's it's kind of cool. And so I, I'm going to be adding Knot's uh, Gladius, Knot's Katana, Knot's Looter. Well, well Katana's just going to be super, uh, like, damage, no knockback. Gladius is just going to be pretty decent damage and everything. Kind of my main weapon. I'm also going to have, uh, huh, what else was I going to put in? Yeah, I'll leave that open. And I'm also going to add, I don't know, maybe a few more things. I'm going to add myself some armor. Oh, and, sorry. And so over here, we have some more iron golems because we lead off to farms and stables. So we'll press this down so people can't get in. The minis. Are you standing on my crops? <sighs> you know what this means. This means death to skeletons. Uh. <laughs> 
Let me just go down here and get my God Slayer. And then I'll take care of that skeleton. Okay, so now we got the God Slayer. We're going to go take care of that skeleton. I don't know if mobs can uh, ruin your crops by standing on them. <laughs> but that, I, that would be pretty bad. I really hope they can't. See, I've learned how to shift click. I've learned how to do uh, third person. Still yet to get a skin. Uh, and I also learned how to do the cinematic. Oh, this is cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. And so I'm going to be doing a 1.7.2 review because I tried to make one. But as fate would so, I didn't record any audio. So I just... It, might, it was on YouTube for about two hours. Here, let me just get... Oh, I spelled it right. Uh -huh. So I've gotten a little better. Just learn some more controls. Hmm. Time set 39. Because I'm not 39. So we got some pumpkins. Um, I've actually made a little idea for a concept farm. Ooh. Goodbye. I think it's, uh, yeah, one hit kill for skeletons, two hits for zombies, and pretty much everything else. Except bosses. So here, my little concept farm is just one block of water, plants surrounding it, and it actually works really well. I built my potato farm before that, but potatoes rule, so whatever. I don't know why I made so many pumpkins, just to rack around Halloween. And we have some, uh, melons. We did a big wheat concept farm. Then, uh, just adding the new red sand, because it looks cool. I, I love the new look of sugar cane. It looks just like bamboo, and bamboo's like my favorite plant ever. So we also got some cacti. And I'm going to be working on some animal farms right now. I've only got a cow farm. But, you know, cows are kind of useful, I guess. And so, here we have my stables, which we have a battle horse, uh, another battle horse, and a pack donkey. Donkey! I lead. I will lead you into battle. Wah. Donkey, donkey, you you take these apples. You you've been good. Donkey, I must get off. Help. So yeah, just something a little. It's just a little cool thing I built. I just kind of put hay stacks in the over there. So that looked cool and. Huh. Oh yeah, that's not even close to it. I was like, oh. I'm still yet to build some stairs up to here. Actually, I think I'm going to build, like, a water elevator. I'm not sure. So here we have just kind of my battlements. Uh, we have these things going around here. You can jump up in these and shoot out. And we have dispensers with arrows. And you can just go pew. If, because I didn't know for a while. Because <laughs> I'm kind of a noob. But if you are also a noob. No offense. I mean, no offense by that. But you, if you want to place a button on a dispenser or redstone over something like this. You hold shift down. So, not with 39's tip of the day. So here we just have some glowstone up here. I know it's kind of a nuisance, but it's more for shooting off of. And then I added two towers on the front. Yet to add two in the back. Just coal and emerald. They're kind of my two blocks. But yeah, you can just jump up here and... Oh no. No. Te enemies are invaded. We must short time. Le pew. Le pew. Le chop chop. So, that's kind of the purpose of that. And so here, okay, I guess it's time to show you guys my last resort. Oh, and I've also, I just a little, um, light, lighting concepts. Pretty cool. Hopper, um, hold shift down, put that on trapdoors, you know the deal, and I just kind of built a mega one. And in case you don't, yeah, I meant to build a symmetrical, but my Minecraft OCD is going like crazy at spend. <laughs> so just kind of, I need to add the shaders mod on to get, uh, swing branches and stuff, which I need to do. Okay, so this is the last resort. You are... Okay, let me make a scenario. Enemies are all over here. Let's say, uh, I don't know, mobs. Or people, I don't know. They're shooting at you. There's not much else you can do. There are all, all the attacks coming from here. There's They're sieging your front. They're shooting over your gate. And there's just not much you can do. So, this kind of works to, I mean no okay what they're doing I mean it would work for arrows not that great but okay well, let me make a different scenario they're all they have really OP swords like my god slayer they're just coming in the they have like a block right here they're just jumping over the gate chop 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 
Iron Golems are attacking them since they're players. You're just dying. And they're jacking all your taxes. And so you do this. Behind here is my last resort lever. You'll see what this does. This pulls this down. And you know what happens when that gets pulled down. The people up here. They press. They pull this lever. And it it takes a moment, so you'll have to hold the fort for a few minutes. I mean, not like a minute or two. Let me see if, if I can put this back up without... Yes. Okay. So we'll just watch that lava drip onto there. Hopefully it doesn't drip onto the wood. And if it does, well, that sucks. Mom, I... Okay, let me just t stop that flow, because I think it's about to cause some havoc to my castle. My castle... And so, yeah, you have this giant, you have this humongous lava wall that just totally, you just do lose. If you're on the offense, you're just, oh, like, you only have, like, a couple bowsmen. They don't have, like, enchanted bows or anything. It's like, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, your arrows do light on fire when they go through here. But one, they won't even, they, one, they won't be able to see you. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a fire. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. It's a fire. It's a fire. <laughs> okay. We are good. Let me get some more fences. Fences. I think right after this, if this video works good, I think I'm actually going to do a 1.7.2 review. You guys are going to like that. I know. Because, you know, I'm, I'm awesome. So, yeah. Okay, let me just block off this flow. <sighs> Okay, here we go. Mm -mm -mm. Let me just place two blocks. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> okay, any source blocks up here? Nope. Ha <laughs> ha, lava. Now you die. Ha, <laughs> your source block. Now you die. Okay, I guess I can just wreck that now. Just gonna grab myself some lava buckets real quick, if you guys don't mind. No. I I have uh, I want to take sixty four of this. Oh yeah, you can only take one at a time. See I learned how to shift click and stuff, that's gonna help me in Hunger Games. When you have to grab that stuff real quick, I'm always like, How do these people get it out so quick? Hmm. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, first, I'm just going to take all the buckets before I put all the uh, lava buckets in. Okay, did I take that out of this one? Yes. Bucket. I take the bucket. Take the bucket. And I think that's it. Yup. Oh no. The carnage. So uh, I'm just going to place these in. Okay, I already got those two. Uh, this one. Yeah. I am learning how not to noob. Yeah. 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 Okay, so I guess I grabbed just enough. I kind of arranged my cobweb, so I, as you can see, I've, I've I've tried this before. It was it was distraction I had. I hadn't put that stone there. I, it was just flat, and there was wood, and it was just oh, 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 oh laddie. So yeah, the, I, I like the elevator concept. That's gonna help. Put my godslayer in there, and so yeah, I suppose that's about it. If you I if you like this video. Just give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I know I like this video. If you want to see more awesome builds like this, you make a suggestion. I could build, I don't know, a palace or... Hey, hey, creepy dude. Ha, 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 hey, give me a hug. Give me a hug. My, see, my bow staff would have helped because I could have knocked him down. Did that really kill him? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> and I wish you could just shoot these by right clicking. That'd be awesome. Okay, so. Guess that about wraps it up.
So, yeah, I guess, guys. That kind of wraps up the video. And so... Yeah. <laughs> if you want to buy this book. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I did. And so, if you want to see more cool builds like this, um, just smack that, like... Smack that thumbs up button with your forehead and subscribe. And so, yeah, I hope you all enjoy your day. You're pretty cool. Moderately cool. Not as cool as me, but cool enough, I suppose. So, Vince! Let me just place this and we can end the video. If you don't place that, the video is forever. Oh, that actually worked pretty well. Okay, everybody, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and out 39 out. Yeah. Nabud, 39 out.